Welcome back to a new video here in Swell. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a DaVinci Resolve Fusion Templates Bundle, which is a new function that came out with the 17.2 update. In the past, we had to paste different macros inside each of these individual folders, right? And now an easy way to do it is by using the DaVinci Resolve Templates Bundle. You can see here I was testing a few things already because I was doing some experiments and this is how you would install them so if we have here a couple of macros that i have and we can just copy these and you have to make sure to create a folder called edit if you wanted to show installing the fusion um, path you can use fusion but if you want these to show up in the edit page then you have to use the edit folder then here inside this edit folder you can create a folder called titles generators effects or transitions only those four. You can create a new one and that will create a new folder here and you will be able to find these here inside the Fusion section, but they will not transfer to the edit page. Maybe that's a functionality that they will add in the future, but they that's not how it works yet. As of now, you have to use any of those four. Okay, so here inside the edit folder, we have the titles folder that we are going to use. We can simply right click and paste all those macros that we have here. And then we're going to go back to our main folder where we were here we're gonna right click and we have to create a compressed file and you have to make sure that it's a zip file for some reason rar did not work when i was trying to okay here you can rename these uh any name that you have we could put we can name this tutorial just for the sake of it and then the important thing is that you add the extension drfx which is the davinci resolve fusion templates bundle Okay, now after that compresses, we can find this here and then we simply drag these into DaVinci Resolve and these pop up will show up. Install in the name of your bundle in the effects library. And then after you install it, so here are the macros that we have just installed. They show up there automatically here inside Fusion. But if we want to go to the edit page, we have to restart it and then we'll be able to find those here. So that is pretty much how you would create a, a templates bundle or a Fusion templates bundle. And yeah, I hope this video is helpful and I hope to see you in the next video here in Swabby. Bye.